Looking to throw. Fields. And as he throws and the ball is out, it's a live football. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. Today, from London, England, it's the NFL International Series on EA Sports. Taking on the Columbus Caps. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up with their opponents. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business.
Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by their quarterback, a product of NC State. It's Jacoby Brissett. His game last week reminded me of the old song, Accentuate the Positive. That's, <laughs> about, that's about all he did, right? Yeah. Three touchdown passes, over 300 yards in the air. Receivers happy. If and they got the win. Got the win. If you're running back that likes to catch passes, they're happy as well. Big time game. The numbers for Njoku from a week ago, well up over 100 yards, and one of those catches found his way into the end zone. I do think he'll be hard-pressed to duplicate those numbers this week, though, because he's gotten their attention, so they will double him on every snap at a minimum. In some cases, they'll triple him. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. And what keyed their victory? The pass rush. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks and plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. Hard to throw the ball downfield when all you're seeing is opposing jerseys come at you. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist to the referee, and that means fourth down. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They're led out of the field by their big mobile quarterback. He can throw it, he can run it, Colin Kaepernick. A true dual threat at the quarterback position. And let's remember him back in the 2012 season, that game in the playoffs that he had against Green Bay. Ran for 181 yards and two scores, threw for two touchdowns, that's the kind of potential he brings to the table every time he steps on the field. The numbers for him from a week ago, 10 carries, 61 yards. He's been a huge part of their winning streak because he establishes not just an identity and a tone, but the team relies on it. He takes care of the football, he gains yardage for him, chews up clock, and that's been a big part of why they're winning games lately. Now Kaepernick. It's complete. It's Fitzgerald. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball to the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Now a play fake, Kaepernick. We'll get this to Jake Funk out of the backfield. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. And they'll use him out of the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. On first down, Kaepernick. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. On second down, Funk. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. From the gun, it's Kaepernick. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. It's a throw, Kaepernick. 
And oh, that nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> I like what they did there because many of the deep throws we see in the course of a game come to the outside, the perimeter of the field. In this case, they use the slot receiver to run deep downfield and try to connect that way. Unsuccessful in that attempt, but I like what they were doing. On third down, Brissett, nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and the defense has come up with it. Defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Kaepernick. It's caught. Lock it. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Kaepernick going to throw. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Jadevian Clowney in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. And that's their first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. Here's third and long, Kaepernick needing a big play to counteract the sack. He'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Funk. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that'll make it 6 0 here in the first. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6 0, so field goal is probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. London about set to take over on offense. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only give up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive? A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown, but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Yeah. 
from the shotgun. It's Brissett. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Brissett again. A quick pass to Cup. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe needs some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's Brissett. He's got Njoku over the middle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First down, Brissett. This will be incomplete. Oh, a dream chance for a D lineman, but he couldn't pull that one in. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. From the gun, here's Brissett, and he fires one incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely, frees up your guys elsewhere. And of the air once more, it's Brissett. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there, and now fourth down. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice, an ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So that if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it and let's go with it. On second down now, Funk. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. 6-0 yeah, yeah. our score after one. Right back to him on first down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now Kaepernick. Over the middle, he's got Gasicki, the big 6-5 tight end. Kaepernick now on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gasicki. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. To throw is Kaepernick. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Kaepernick to throw again. He'll lock it with a grab over the middle. A gain of six there on first. From the five, second and four. Now a handoff here to his running back. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, 
part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess defensively. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. And Zerline's kick is good. And that will make our score nine to nothing. So he remains perfect, three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. David Njoku and the rest of the offense heading back out onto the field. A well, September sure treated him kindly. Now we flip over to October. Any reason to think that those numbers drop, or can he keep the pace up? Well, he can keep the pace up, but it's going to get a lot more difficult now. To me, it's a lot like baseball, all right? When guys, you know, when they first hit the league, whether it's a pitcher or a... Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, another offensive player quick to react, and they will indeed retain possession. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense gotten it, they were already within a shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the gun, they give to Ingram. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. We should mention, to go along with a great game he had last week, he was rightfully named AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he shares that with his offensive line, the tight end, his fullback. He's looking for more and more of that in this game. A first down throw for Brissett. He's going to drop this underneath to Ingram. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Play fake, Brissett. He's fresh off that three-touchdown performance last week that got him AFC Offensive Player of the Week. So you know that he was already on their radar. Now he's maybe even a bigger plane on their radar. <laughs> bigger plane. I mean, he is the big dot on that screen that they're looking at and saying, how in the heck do we stop him? They're going to try a bunch of different things, different people covering him. But right now, he's locked in and is in sync with his quarterback. Again, it's Brissett. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over in that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. A gain of six there on first. Six 
On second down, Funk. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. This complete to lock it. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Tommy Townsend on the punt. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And we shift our attention to Mark Ingram. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. From the 17, Brissett got his man there complete to Gallup. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Out of the gun, Brissett. This one complete to Ingram. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. This is the tight end to Joku. That catch good for only a couple. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Eight yards to go on second down. They'll throw again. Brissett trying to find cut, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. The struggles continue here offensively. Still nothing for him on the scoreboard, and now an interception. Yeah, the offense looks extremely sluggish, not really in sync at all. Dare I say, it looks like it got left behind in customs. Oh, you've had that in your back pocket. <laughs> you were waiting for that. Probably should have left it in my back pocket, too. Well played. So from the 36 now, first and 10. So after the INT, it's Kaepernick. He's going deep for Brown, and it's caught. Touchdown. Antonio Brown, his second touchdown on the season. And the Caps are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, that didn't take long. The turnover instantly almost turning into points. And when that happens, a lot of teams have the mentality of let's strike right now. You've got them off balance after the turnover or the takeaway. Let's go get it. And that's exactly what they did. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And that will make this a 16-point lead. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. London about set to take over on offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 23. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Part of what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited 
and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taking it about the one. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Back out comes this offense now, late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Over the middle, complete. That's Ingram. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down. Reset. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll get this one to Cup. Complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Brissett on first down. That's out to the flat for Ingram. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. To throw again on second down. Brissett. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing, Brissett. He's got his tight end, David Njoku. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Going up top for Cup. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls and you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. Looking deep for Adams. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in just a bit. But first, let's get everybody caught up with what... And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently, we're going to get right back to it. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. Here's Hardman on the return and able to get this out to the 25. And this offense set to go now to begin the third quarter. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they've got the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Throwing now is Kaepernick. Pressure comes and down he goes. Jadevian Clowney, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. He said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud. Kaepernick now on third and goal. That's complete to the running back, Funk. 
And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage. It should be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Reset to throw on first. He's got his man, it's Gallup. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Here's Brissett. In trouble, and he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. I think we've seen this before. If someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. Now that'll be caught by Cup. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. And they'll send out their punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Here's Kaepernick to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. 
and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. To throw, it's Kaepernick. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. They'll run on first down. Funk. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Funk shoves him aside near the 35. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 50 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but... There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. On first down, Kaepernick. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Fitzgerald. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. To throw, Kaepernick. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Here's Kaepernick. And it's caught. Touchdown. Tyler Lockett, his second touchdown on the season. And the Caps extend their lead yet again. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him. Because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Zerline now for the PAT. And the lead is now an even 30. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. London about set to take over on offense. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Now left side on the swing pass. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll try to run for the first with Ingram. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after them now. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Brissett. He's got it to Ingram, complete. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it a second down. From the gun, it's a run for Ingram. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. third 
quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. To throw, Brissad. He gets this to Devontae Adams. That's just his second catch of the game. They wanted to keep him silent. They have kept him silent. Defensive football 101. Don't let the best player on offense beat you. Take him out of the game. They've done a great job of doing that. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Here's Brissett. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. They're running. Ingram. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They go play action with Brissett. Looking deep for Adams. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. To throw once more on second and ten. Brissett, throw right side, taken in by Gallup. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Brissett. Got a man open, it's Ross. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. It's the former Patriot, Devin McCourty. The 30, 10, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. Zerline good with a PAT, and the lead will swell by one more. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the kick. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off around the 27. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Defensively, they've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even more lopsided. I remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, what do you do when the game's like this? You know, it's pretty much over. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. <laughs> you like being out there at the end of these wide margins. When they have to throw it, that gives you more opportunities to go get it. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. And let's shift our attention to this defensive unit as they march back onto the field. And for them, the amount of takeaways that they've had in this game, I mean, it's, it's the story, the story of this contest. And what a story it is for them because what we've been seeing you feel horrible for the guys on offense because you feel like it's just a total breakdown at this point. But that was caused by what they've done on defense. Attacking at all angles, faster to the football, popping it free, making plays. It's actually a joy to watch if you like great defensive football. 
from the 29. Brissett over the middle. That's hauled in by Cup. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, here's Brissett. And that's complete to Adams. Three yards the game there, second down. And to the air once more, it's Brissett. A quick pass to Cup. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Brissett's throw taken in by Adams. A gain of six there on first. And that catch, he just hit number 800 in his NFL career. I just think that puts you in top 35 range all time in the NFL in terms of number of catches. One significant guy in that number, Shannon Sharp, who was a tight end. That's big time play right there. Now a man open down the middle of the field. First and 10, Brissett. He's got Njoku over the middle. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. Got a man. It's Ross complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. On the check down, it's Ingram. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Not much there, only a yard. Looking to throw again on second down. Brissett. He'll find Farrell open left side. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers. At and that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you go you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Extra point attempt here still to come. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. The 
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. McCole Hardman to return it from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. And right about now, heck, they might be wishing they did not have a bye week coming up next week. It appears they're going to go into that week off in high spirits as they've got this one well in hand. On first down, Funk. 60 yards on the ground for him so far. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. They'll keep it on the ground. Funk. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It's a loss of four. Now third down. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks. And now here's a tackle behind the line. Third down, Funk, and he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for our visitors, their strong September has carried over to October as they move to 5-0. And, oh. and now it's off to Heathrow as they get set to fly back to the U.S. in a couple hours. Meanwhile, for the home team here, they drop below 500 to 2-3 and three with a loss. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Santa Clara to take on the 49ers. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.